Are you a broke college student looking to improve your photography or videography game? Well, today we'll be talking about cheap vintage film lenses from the 1960s like these bad boys. What's up y'all, my name is Adriel and a very warm welcome to CalTV Diaries. Now today, I'll be talking a little bit more about vintage film lenses. So what are they? Back in the day, lenses were designed for film cameras, which are cameras where you actually put a sheet of film in and there's like some chemicals on the film that would change colors. Uh, chemistry. Who knew that chemistry would actually be important in daily life. Chemistry. So why, you may ask, why on earth would anybody want to bring these old film lenses back? First and foremost, old vintage lenses have a certain character that surrounds them that is not like today's lenses. I want to show you what a lens flare looks like on a digital lens. This lens creates these kinds of like greenish lens flares, which I'm not a big fan of. And now we have switched over to the old vintage lens. Now let me show you what a lens flare looks like. Ooh. In my personal opinion, I feel that this looks a lot better than what the digital lens can give me. Ooh. Yeah, it's even more pronounced when I put it right up to the lens like that. Okay. So we're going to hop over to some of the pictures that I shot with this lens. Now this one is a picture that I took at Labrador Park in Singapore. You can see these little like purpley and greenish tinges that fall along the edges of the cranes. But it does give the images some kind of a retro vintage look that I feel is really nice. Also, the way that the lens renders color is slightly different than digital lenses. As you can see, the entire image has a slight tinge to it, and there's something in the feel of the image that I just can't explain. This is another image that was also taken with the vintage lens of this red thing, monument thingy by the sea. These images are taken straight out of the camera. No post-processing has been done at all, and you can see that there's kind of like an Instagram feel or emotion to it. Now apart from the unique characteristics that these vintage lenses can give to you, there's something else that is in it for you, which is that these lenses are cheap. I managed to pick two of these guys up for just 65 Singapore dollars each, which is about 40 US dollars. Also the lenses that I bought came with this really interesting looking leather case thingy. Most of these film lenses don't come with autofocus. This means that you can twist the ring at the front of the lens and that will help you adjust your focus. The problem with manual focus is that you may not get your focus right all the time. And so with that, we've come to the end of this video. I hope that you've learned something about vintage lenses today. Do leave a comment down below if you have any questions about vintage lenses or cinematography in general. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to CalTV for more amazing videos. I don't know how to end this, so I'm just going to show you more videos of these beautiful lenses. Bye-bye.